I'm gonna show you my lip scrubs. So I just have a five lip scrubs. I have two from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I have one from Disney X Primark. It's the Angel Cocos Note Lip Scrub. It looks so pretty and it just like smells like Cocos Note, which I love. I have actually used a lot of it already. It's just a, um, yeah, mm, it smells so good. <laughs> It's just like a normal scrub. It doesn't have anything special about it. It's just like very cute and pretty. And then I have my Jeffree Star Cosmetics scrubs. These ones are actually edible and they taste really, really nice. So I have two in this pink packaging, which is the normal packaging. So I have the shade Blue Raspberry Sucker. It obviously smells like very sweet raspberry and I've been pretty, pretty far with this one already still smells so good <laughs> then I have the strawberry gum lip scrub again like I said in the pink packaging and this looks like this and obviously it smells like sweet strawberry flavoring then I have one in the orange packaging which was with the orange palette collection and it's called blood orange it looks like this and it obviously smells like blood orange. Oh, it smells so nice. I love this. I should actually use more lip scrubs. And then my last one is in this grayish one. Well, it's from the Shane Dawson collection. The Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star collection. Or I should say the Jeffree Star Cosmetics X Shane Dawson collection. I do have actually the whole collection. Like almost the whole collection. Like all of the makeup products. So this one is in the Diane's Root Beer. It's actually really nice. I don't think I ever had diet root beer, but it smells very minty and fresh. It looks brown, but I think it looks very, very nice. And I, to be honest, I have to say, I really like the packaging of these lip scrubs. They look so pretty, like, all together. Now we're gonna start with all of the lip products, and I do have to say, I have a lot of lip products. I used to, like, collect lip products, I have many liquid lipsticks, I have many lip glosses and yeah I'm gonna show you all of them. So we're gonna start with my lip balms. I don't have that much of lip balms, I just have five. So this is one from the body shop, it's the coconut lip butter. It looks like this and obviously it smells like cocos. You open it and then the inside looks like this and you just put your finger out, well you just use your finger, oh it smells so good, put it on your lips, it has no color, obviously it looks a kind of bit yellowish, but it has no color when you put it on your lips, and it makes your lips feel like really nicely and soft. And the next one is from Nivea, it's the Lip Butter Original, it's again in this opponent, and then when you open it up, you have to use your finger to get the product out of there. It's just wise white and like the other one it doesn't leave any color on your lips it just makes your lips feel really really soft and then i have this lip balm with a vanilla scent it's from friends i have no idea which brand this is from because this was a little present and it's supposed to look like a coffee cup and it's so cute so you just open it up the product is in here it doesn't have any color and when you like spin it like this, the products come out of there. It has this much product still in it. And I've already used it a lot and I got this one for Christmas last year. I love this one by the way, it's so cute. Then I have another product from the Body Shop. And this is called the Coconut Carrot Passion Fruit Lip juicer balm and you spin it open it looks like this this obviously leaves a pink color on your lips and yeah it has a fruity scent not my favorite to be honest but it's okay and it makes the lips feel like really nicely and it's very easy to apply because you can just like use this product to put it on your lips and it doesn't have to be like too precisely because it's not the bright color it's just a more toned down color of the color that is in the opponent and then my last lip balm is from Hema. It's the Take Care lip balm. It's just a, a simple lip balm like Labello has. 
This used to be obviously as big as this tube, but I've used this a lot and this one is on my nightstand. And now we're gonna go into the lip liners. And if you followed me for a little while, you do know that I already have a lip liner collection video on my channel. So yeah, we're just gonna go through it. I don't have that many lip liners. I have only five again and three of them are for MAC and I used to cut them for my makeup school. So um, you could obviously hear, hear her purring because she's purring so loudly. But what I wanted to say is I have three of MAC and I have two other brands. One is from Kylie Cosmetics and one is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So this is the MAC one. It's in a nude tone shade. It's called Dur Durfish. And it looks like this. And these MAC ones are actually a little bit harder. They're not that creamy. So you just have to press a little bit more on your lips to get a little bit more color out of it. Then I have this one in the shade we spoken for. It's a very dark lip color. It's not black as you can see. It's a little bit burgundy, I guess. And my last one from MAC Cosmetics is a red one in the shade Cherry. And it looks like this. This is such a this is such a beautiful red color. And I have a shade from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's called Calabasas. I just love the way this like top half looks. It looks so different than what other brands look like. And then this is the color. This is such a pretty color. I, and I actually do have the matching liquid lipstick color of this lip pencil. This one is actually more creamy and more soft than the other ones. And the last lip liner that I own is the one from Kylie Cosmetics. It's in the shade Candy K, which I do have the matching liquid lipstick as well. I absolutely love this packaging. It's so like pretty and pink and the color is right here. And obviously then this is what the color looks like and this is actually one of my favorite colors to put on my lips. Then I have two pro lip palettes. Obviously, um, well not obviously, but they're from MAC Cosmetics because I had to buy them for makeup school. And these are the two I'm talking about. So they're both having six shades and this one is called Select Plums and this one is called Necessary Nudes. So. I'm gonna show you, obviously it has been used. I've used a brush to use this product, but this one is a shimmer and most of these are more matte. And obviously these ones are lighter than those ones, but they actually like really, really nicely to use. And they do stay like good for such a long while. And these are the uh, darker colors. So these three are more pinkish. These. This one is more brown and then these one go more to a purple burgundy color. And yeah, these ones are very, very nice if you're like a makeup artist kind of person and you have this in your kit, it's very easy to use with a brush on your clients. So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about are lipsticks. So I do have some lipsticks. I don't have that much normal lipsticks. I do have more liquid lipsticks and more lip glosses um, slash lip oils. So yeah, firstly I have this uh, lip crayon from House Laboratories and it's in the shade Le Monster, I guess. It's a red one. I actually love this product. It, it has been used, as you can see, this top is like totally flattened out. It has like pretty much product in it and this red like stays on your lips so nicely and it's so easy to work with because it does have this angle and does have the rounded tip so it's very easy for you to like go into your upper lip and like go around the edges. I do really like the design because it's like different like obviously you can't like put it down except when you're putting it in something like this but it does look very very cool and it's very nice to have the exact red color like on the back of it. And I have this lipstick from Kiko Milano. It's in the shade Rosetto, shade 3. And I got, hello? Oh my God, she's touching my makeup brushes. <laughs> so 
So I got this one from a girl from my makeup school. She used to work there, so she got everyone a lipstick and a mascara. So that was really, really sweet of her. And this is such a pretty color. It's more like an orangey color, but it looks very pretty on... <laughs> it looks very pretty on many skin tones. I really like the packaging too. It looks very pretty. Then I have this lip product from Rare Beauty. And it's called Courage. It's a matte lip cream. And the packaging is like so sleek and it's this matte satin a brownish tint and this is actually the product that I have on my lips it looks so pretty and it looks so natural it's like kind of my lips but better color and this is what this thing looks like it smells like vanilla it's a really really nice and it's really handy to take with you it doesn't stay on for a long day so when it dries down like you have it on for a longer time it actually dries down so it almost doesn't leave your lips anymore, which is really, really nice. And maybe that's just because this color is very close to my lip color, so it looks more natural. Hello? So it looks more natural, but I love this color. Okay, so let me sort this out for you. Because I do have some of the same brand. I'm first gonna start with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have three of these old school ballets and I have two of these, what are they called again? These satin kind of ballets, these newer ones. So I do have three of the older ones like I told you and this one is in the shade Champagne Tears. It's a very unique um, lipstick because this actually only leaves um, champagne-ish glitters on your lips which is actually really nice as a topper that's why there's a little bit brown on there but it does look very pretty when you're just like having a natural lip day and you're just putting this on your lips I have this shade androgyny and I do have this shade in a liquid lipstick as well it's a very very well no I don't have this I'm not really sure but I do have the androgyny eyeshadow palette and this color looks very pretty, a really nice brown color. I do have to say these ones are like, they're nice bullets, but the satin ones are like nicer to put on your lips because they glide a little bit smoother than these ones do. I do have to say I love both of them. And then the last one of the other bullet is Celebrity Skin. This is such a pretty color brown. And... I think I just recently bought the liquid lipstick version of this because I think it looks so pretty and I love this color on me. Then I have, like I said, two of these um, other ballets. These are the velvet lipsticks. They have this magnetic top on it with this magnetic thing going around it. And then I have this brown color. And look how pretty. There are stars like all over the liquid, well it's not liquid, over the lipstick, which look really really pretty. And this is in the shade Nudist Colony. And then the last bullet that I have from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, it's obviously the same pink packaging. This is Medieval Kiss and this is a very dark one, which I think I got in a mystery box, I remember. Very pretty, it does have the same like press in things on the lipstick as well. Then I have four Morphe lipsticks. I do have one in the black packaging and then I have three in this black and pink packaging which was a set and I did do a review of this set on my YouTube channel. This was actually a Disney collaboration if I remember it correctly. But first we're gonna start with the black one. I do like the opponent, it's very pretty. It does have the M from Morphe and then it has Morphe like with the shiny thing all over it. And this is a cream and it's called Wink Wink. And it's actually a very pretty pinkish color. It kind of looks a little bit like the pink I have here but then a little bit muted. But I do love this color. And then I have these three pink ones. And the packaging is actually the same, but just the top is pink and the other one is black. So I do have an M right here and then Morphe right there. So this is in the shade Goody Goody and this is a Mega or Mega Matte or Super Matte or how you want to call it. This is a pink one 
and it has Katrine on it, Donald Duck's girlfriend. Then the other shade that I have is Oh Boy, and that's the red shade. Oh, um, I just noticed that it's not only Katrine, it's Katrine, Donald, Mickey and Minnie. Well, they're so cute and they're very pretty red and as you notice there's a little bit of a dent in there because I used a brush to put this on my sister because she was a model for some of my photo shoots for school so I will insert a picture of her right here. This was such a pretty like photo shoot and this red looked very pretty on her. And then the last one from Morphe is Bow Babe and it's a neutral shade, it's a very pretty brown shade. And again, it has all of the Disney characters in it. Then I have two lipsticks from Essence. And they're actually like almost the same kind of product. But this is an older one. I think I got this from my sister because she used it once or twice and she didn't want to use it. And I always think these kind of things are very pretty. Because if you look at it, it looks so cool and pretty. But this is actually like these... Uh, kind of lipstick that when you put it on it gets pink because of the warmth of your skin and this is another one of these kind of product because um, it's orange and glittery but it appears pink on the lips but it does have a very pretty glitter in it as well this was actually a collaboration with Jurassic Park as you can see that's why I kind of wanted it because I thought this packaging looked very, very pretty and cute. Then I have a couple of these NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this one is in the shade Monte Carlo, which is a red one. I actually got this in an NYX Advent Calendar, which I posted on my channel as well. So. I do know these are a little bit older and I kind of want to make them up so some of them I am using at home when I'm just staying at home. Then I have this darker pink color in the shade Budapest which is a very pretty pink purpley color. These are actually really nice, I do have to say that. They dry up a little bit like the lipstick that I have on from Rare Beauty. Then I have a very very dark color and it's in the shade Copenhagen. And this actually has a little bit more of a purple tone as well. I do think this is a little bit lighter on the skin than it looks in the tube. But I'm not really sure anymore. And then I have three neutral tones. This is the darkest of the three and it's called Leon. It looks like this. And I do have to say these two look very very similar but the top one is called Abu Dhabi and this one is called Stockholm and this one is more of a pinky color and this one is more of a brown color as you can see but some of these I had made already up and they look some of them look very very similar I do have to say that then I have one lipstick of Lemcombe that I got from my grandmother and I absolutely love this packaging I think it's a mini and look at the top, it has this very pretty rose on it. And it's in the shade 196 Le Absor Rouge, I guess. And it's this very, very pretty red color. It's a little bit more of a deeper red color, but it's like actually really nice. And it has Lancome like right there. This is such a pretty, pretty lip color. I got this for her from her. Not last summer, but the summer before that, before I went on holiday with my boyfriend. And this, I absolutely love this color. I absolutely love red in general. Then I have this one from April Paris. I adore you, it says, and I got this one on our last holiday. And if you followed me for a while and you've looked at my what I bought on my holiday makeup video and trying out that, those products, you've already seen this one. I think the packaging is very pretty. It does look a little bit cheap and it has this like really plasticky sound when you open it. Which I think is really sad because it looked so pretty and I thought it has so much potential. But the color itself is very very beautiful as you can see. And it like goes onto the lips very normal and like not too creamy but not like too harsh if you know what I mean. It's a very pretty color just so like sad that when you spin it 
it made this really weird sound. And then I have this lipstick from Shein. I do have to say this packaging is so cool. I love the way that it's looking. Very, very pretty. And it's in the shade Beach Babe. And it says She Glam on here. And when you spin it up, it's this very pretty neutral color. And it does have a little bit of a golden sheen to it. I'm not really sure if you can see. I hope you can. It looks very pretty in sunlight as well. Especially then it's a really nice time to see the glitter in the lipstick. And then I have two lipsticks from MAC. I really like the packaging of MAC. It's very like aesthetically pleasing and sleek. Um, I do think they can like... Sometimes they do that with some specials. But I wish there was something on here to see what kind of color was in it. Except from the bottom which says what kind of color is in it. I wish the color was on here somewhere. Like even this like little thing around could have been the color. And it would have been very nice to see what color it was. But I do have two colors. This one is called In The Spirit. It's a MAC one and this is actually a black lipstick. I did have this one for a very, very while and it's actually a really nice lipstick. Because it's black it does bleed a little bit but when you're using an eyeliner or something as a lip liner it doesn't do that at all so that's really nice. Then I have this one and I just got this from my sister-in-law. I traded with her. Um, she wanted another lipstick, well she didn't want it, she wanted to give this to me because this is actually a red color, it's called the Russian Red, it's such a pretty bright red, like I absolutely love this color, as she just said she doesn't really actually wear red and I thought well I have so many lip products and I had this brownish nudish color that I absolutely don't wear that much and I already have like many of these colors so we just traded I gave her that one and she gifted me this one which was actually really really sweet of her because like I said before I actually love red colors and then I have two lost normal lipsticks and these ones are from like the full coverage full collection from um Little Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles and I did a whole review of this um, collection on my channel as well but to be honest I love this packaging like look how pretty this looks and the way it opens it's so different than anything else it's so cool and then the shades are called Lenny and Mora and this is the shade Lenny which is a very pretty nude tone color and then we have the shade Mora the opening is so cool and again a very pretty neutral color but one is more brownish, like you can see, and the other one is more pinky. To be honest, I have to say I love both of these colors. And those were actually all of my normal lipsticks. So the next category is going to be liquid lipsticks. 